just keep doing what I'm doing. She's getting tempted today. A recipe for disaster. I woke up and I was down $1,100. Something magnetic draws you near to me. Short, so it's very easy Our to read. like a symphony. This is how true love's supposed to be. A vivacious boss with plenty of style. Come on, girl, it's your time now. Hey y'all, it's Shabu Thang, Kristen, and we are back. We're about to do another vlog today. I'm headed out with the kids, and I think we're about to go and eat. Y'all ready? All right, so I guess we're ready. Let's go. Okay, so I guess we're going to Mercado, one of my faves. Y'all saw Mercado in the last video, or one of the last videos. I went with my boy Ricky, and we had a really good time. So we're going to get some Mercado again today, because I was thinking it's probably one of the funnest places to go in town to get food with the kids. I always get it. We made it back home and I wanted to show you guys something that I just got last week that I've been so excited about. Been waiting for a couple of days for it to arrive. And I have to admit, the shipping was super, super fast, even with the little thing that I did to it. So I wanted to show you guys, I got this purse from Coach and I am obsessed, absolutely obsessed with this bag. So this is the Coach Tabby and I am actually not a, coach girl by any means however they won me over with this um, so i only have two coaches i have the heart bag and then i have this little tabby bag this is the small one it says it's genuine napa leather the color though is so cute it is honestly for the size there's a lot of compartments inside of here so there's the two compartments you've got this front one which i've got all my lipstick and stuff inside of and then there's the back one which i've been just putting my phone inside of Okay, my husband's calling me and I don't know where my phone is. So <laughs> Let's see. Hello? Hello. Hi. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, love you. Bye, baby. The watch is mad convenient. Okay, back to what we were talking about. So I got this um, purse, love it. It's like got this nice flat bottom so you can lay your purse down and it stands up straight without like falling over. It's got a little pocket in the back. It's got the two pockets in the middle and then it's got this little like button pocket. So I put my identification and my credit cards in the front part. I love it though, it's so cute. And I am notorious for buying black bags. So I was like, let me get a bag that has some color so I can introduce some color into my life even though I'm definitely a black and a nudes girl. <laughs> so if you've been thinking about investing in one of these, I really, really like it and I also like the price point. You cannot go wrong with this. I honestly could have bought like two or three of these for the price of like another Gucci or Louis Vuitton or something like that. And I looked at those sites and I was like trying to figure out if I wanted a bag and I was gonna buy a bag. Honestly, I was like, you know what? I'm not in love with anything. So I might as well just get what I want, which was this. Well, and I'm kind of happy that like the cheaper bag is what I fell in love with. So for now, this is what I'm sticking with and I don't really think I have any other bags that I wanna get. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna stick to what it is because the bag I really want is a, um, a Dior and I'm not spending $6,000 on a bag right now. So I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> but I do want one of those eventually. So in the meantime, if you are looking for a fairly inexpensive purse to add to your repertoire or add to your collection, these are really nice. It's very practical. The color is fabulous and the black and the other colors that they have are also really dope. The gray one, I was looking at the gray, I'm like that is a really cute bag, a really cute color. So um, long story short, don't sleep on these. And they also did the little engraving on the tag. So I'm like way over here. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like slipping because I'm on my knees over here <laughs> trying to find a good place with some natural lighting to talk to you. So um, yeah, but yeah, this is the purse. So I hope you guys like it because I am absolutely in love with it. Well, I guess if you don't like it, it don't matter because girl, your girl love it. <laughs> but I hope you guys like it too. Hi, Jeez. Come here. Come here. Oh, why y'all biting each other? 
each other. You want me, you want me, you want your mommy. Come here, JC Poo Poo. Hi. Oh, Lola K. <laughs> they get jealous of each other. Yes, you do. Poor JC Poo Poo. Lola got in the way. Lola came up here, Jace. Uh oh. He is mad. I wish you guys could see. He is pissed. Hi, Jeezy Poo. Hi, Jeez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Girl, you know you don't want to be up here. I don't know what you do with this. You guys been good today? You been good? Uh-oh. He is watching everything I'm doing with her. He's watching my hand pet her. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay, now to go check the hot tub because I was getting back in there. That's what I decided I was gonna do is get back in the tub and relax. One else is not what they do or when they do it, but rather how they think about what they do and how they're thinking when they do it. Hey y'all, so I made my way outside and I'm about to listen to a book. Cynthia keeps telling me to read this book called Trading in the Zone. I actually, it's funny, I opened up my Audible and I'm on chapter four, so I don't even remember reading this <laughs> before. We're gonna start over. She says it's really, really helpful for the mental aspect of trading because if you are a trader, if you've ever tried trading, you know the mental part of trading is always the hardest. It's not the setup, it's not the strategy. It is always, 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 always the mental aspect. It's the fear, it's the greed, those two things. So I wanna listen to this because I really feel like it could help me. And Cynthia swears by it and I've heard other people say that it's a really really good book so we're gonna listen to it she was kind of getting on me she was like you need to read it <laughs> but we not reading it i don't have the book and i'm just gonna listen to it here on audible and just see if i can like get through it and in the worst case if i have to i will get the paperback um version as well but it says it's seven hours so hopefully i can try to knock this thing out over the weekend so that way when i get into the trading week next week, I am ready to freaking go. So if you're somebody who trades or you're in the market, definitely check out the book, um, Trading in the Zone. Everybody who trades always talks about it. It's like an old faithful, definitely one of those books where you just kind of got to read. It's like a rite of passage. So I'm kind of late to the uh, party, <laughs> but we gonna get into it right now um, while I sit in this hot tub and enjoy a little bit of time out here. I feel like I'm gonna be like yesterday. Yesterday I sat out here until it got dark. Probably will be me today because there's like nothing else going on and your girl is kind of bored. Like, I'm just bored. I'm kind of tired of living in a city where there's absolutely nothing to do. Like there's not even nice places. Today I took the kids, as you guys know, to eat at Mercado. Really nice restaurant. The food is delicious. But for the amount of money you spend, it just doesn't give the experience that I would love to have had over lunch with my kids. So, you know, you sometimes just want to go somewhere that's a little bit more fun. And I just feel like I wish we had more options here, but, you know, it is what it is. So, um, long story short, that's kind of the vibe or the, the mindset I'm in right now. It's like, are we really going to last here in Fort Wayne or do we just need to go ahead and just pick up and go somewhere else where we can have a little bit more um, excitement and enjoyable quality of life after work? Because I'm bored. But anyway. I'm just rambling right now, so let me um, start this book and get into it. Oh, and the book is by Mark Douglas, in case you were curious. Most all experienced traders use some form of technical analysis to help them formulate their trading strategies. Except for some small, isolated pockets in the academic community, the purely fundamental analyst is virtually extinct. What caused this dramatic shift in perspective? Brian, my butt hurts so bad from riding that bike yesterday. Yeah. Your butt be hurting? Well, you haven't been riding. Okay, baby. 
There are so many bats out here. Like, oh my gosh. They're scary too. <laughs> I don't want no bat coming down here on me. No, they never mess with us, but we get so many bats like flying over in this area at night. It's like not even funny. And they swoop right over the deck. Boy. Not cool. Oh my gosh, it's so many birds out here tonight. Kind of crazy. She's getting tented today. We just got back and I am so excited. The car is done, y'all. Let me show you. Look at the tent. She's pretty and dark. <laughs> Yay. She's so pretty. Good morning. It is Sunday and we're headed to the kids' games today. Nor the mattress in the back. We got Adrian a new mattress over the week. But anyways, we're going. Um, the kids have games this morning. We are going to watch them play basketball. They're on a um, new team. So Adrian just started a new team and Adrian just started a new team as well. But um, it's the same one Adrian played with in the fall. So it's been going good so far. They had games all day yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to talk to you guys. However, um, I think it should be a really great, great day. Y'all gonna do really good. Ain't that right, Adrian? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Time to take the braids out. <laughs> I've had these in now, I think it's been five weeks. So I decided I was gonna get on camera and talk to you guys while I take these out. Um, you'll have to ignore Jace though, he is snoring. <laughs> oh my goodness. So of course he gets louder right when I say it. But no, I wanted to talk to you guys about some things that I just think are I don't know really relevant and I've done a lot of research to learn so I was thinking maybe I could share what I've learned in the event that it's informational for some of you out there so I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about inflation mainly because learning the stock market one of the things I've taken the time to really learn a lot about is what moves the market and one of the things that moves the market is interest rates and inflation so basically Long story short, I'm gonna try to break down really quickly what is inflation, what influences inflation, and who influences inflation. And I think these things are important because to truly appreciate what it means to you, what it means to the people you vote for, and just your life and everything around you, really stems from those three things. So first of all, inflation is when the price of goods or the price of things that you spend your money on goes up so basically they look at inflation on a monthly monthly basis and they look at it on a yearly basis and they're essentially trying to figure out how much does it cost for gasoline and has the price of gasoline gone up what about eggs and what about when you go to a restaurant or a hotel they look at all of that inflation and there's there's actual categories that they break it into to monitor it okay so that's what inflation is so, um, what, what did I say the second thing is, babe? I forgot that fast. <laughs> I said, what's inflation? I said, oh, how do you influence inflation? Okay, so long story short, inflation goes up when there's a lot of money in the market or in the, or in the economy. So the more money that's out there, basically it makes it where the money is worth less. So it's basically like supply. It's an it's a element of supply and demand. But long story short, if you have a hundred dollars right and that hundred dollars is out there in the market and that's the only hundred dollars that's there to be um used for purchasing things then the price of things is set but now if you flood the market with another thousand dollars so now you have one thousand one hundred dollars you basically make it where there's more money out there and people have the ability to buy more things so the more demand there is prices go up so it's basic supply chain um what do you call it it's basic econ so this is like econ 101 right supply and demand demand goes up you don't have more supply prices go up and then if you flip it supply goes down then if you don't have more um you know su supply goes down and if there's not more money prices go up 
So long story short, it's all connected based on the price of things and the amount of things that are out there and how much money people have. So when you flood the economy with things like stimulus or the Fed is doing what they call quantitative easing, where basically they're making money cheaper and they're printing money. So as you print money, more money goes into the economy, the price of things go up because more money is out there. So there's gonna be more demand. So long story short, this is something that's been cooking for a really, really long time. The United States has had it where we've been at um, interest rates of like 0%, basically, the adjusted Fed rate for years. Like it's been a really long time. So when you have rates that low for that long, and then on top of that, you have the Fed just printing money and then they're sending out stimuluses and doing things to stimulate an already stimulated economy, it's a recipe for disaster. So long story short, the way that you bring that down is you bring money, you pull money literally out of the economy and you raise interest rates, make, basically make it more expensive to purchase things. So that's what they're doing right now, but I think it's important to understand who has that control. So long story short, it's not the people you vote for, it's not the president, it's not me and it's not you, it's the Fed. So the Federal Reserve has people who've been appointed and they have been appointed by the elected president. So Powell was appointed by the president. However, from that point, he works on his own. He's not supposed to be influenced by them. So the Fed is the one who has the ability to raise rates, lower rates, and do quantitative easing, which basically pumps money. I hope I'm not getting stuck with this hair. <laughs> but what basically pumps money into the economy. So Powell, Jerome Powell has the power to do those things. So po Jerome Powell, okay, we're gonna make this real clear. Jerome Powell has the power to control inflation. Okay, so he raises rates, inflation goes down. He lowers rates, inflation goes up because demand is gonna go up because there's more money and to, to borrow money is cheaper. So I just think that's really important to understand because a lot of people say things that just aren't true and are blaming people who aren't responsible for the situation that we're in. And unfortunately, the way that our monetary system is set up, it's always gonna be like this. So it's just the way things are. And I think the biggest piece of advice I could give anyone out there, which is why I'm trying to be a better steward over what I have, is to prepare because at the end of the day you never know when you're going to be the one who's impacted and you have to figure out how to take care of what you got to take care of around your house and for your family you know so you got to prepare for the worst hope for the best and i'm not saying this to be scary but i think at the same time we have to be realistic and not live in a bubble <laughs> that i think sometimes social media puts out that it's just you know there's just money everywhere and nothing's going to change and there isn't any risk when we have to really think about the fact that the Fed has two goals, to lower inflation and to raise unemployment because the more people that are employed, the more money is in circulation. So I hope this makes sense, um, but I just feel like it was really important to talk about that and like hopefully just provide some information that can help. I'll try to put some links in the description box to support what I'm saying because I don't know if I said everything perfectly and I just want to be you know factual and support it with evidence so I'll put some stuff in the comment in the um, description box that you guys can use to read yourself but I'm gonna try to finish this hair because I'm struggling <laughs> and I'm only done with one braid so I'm about to be up all night so yeah this sucks I need to get a rat tail comb because babe this is I'm going to be up all night. You going to help me? No. <laughs> sure, to do it your back. You'll help me? Okay. <laughs> well, I know you're not eating cucumbers, girl. Just drop the cucumbers on the floor, areas. There's some of them anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning. It ain't morning. Good evening. <laughs> so I just got done um, making dinner. And I made kind of a healthy meal. If you guys may or may not remember, but basically I made the Greek chicken where you take chicken breast, then sliced chicken breast. You take garlic, fresh minced garlic. Um, I also use, what else is in there? Greek yogurt. Um, I season my chicken. I don't think they call for seasoning your chicken. I think they just call for using uh, like kosher salt, but I season mine. And then I make the cilantro lime rice and then cucumbers. It's so good and it's really healthy. I think this meal is like 600 calories. You do not feel guilty eating it and it's very tasty and very filling. So definitely recommend it. If you guys want the recipe, let me know and I will um, dig it up and find it for you. But yes, so I actually have some things I got from Amazon that I wanted to show you guys. So as soon as I get done with these cucumbers, I'm gonna meet you guys in the office and we'll go through the little delivery that I got today. I'm like so excited though. I got a couple of things that I've had in my watch list for a minute. And it was a, it was like $200 purchase, but I've been looking at this stuff for a long, it's been in my cart for a really, 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 really long time. <laughs> mm. Look good. I caught myself taking a trade before I went to bed and putting the trade out there I knew the draw on liquidity, so I knew where it was headed, but I took the trade and I put my stop loss down below. Y'all, why I run my stop loss last night? I woke up and I was down $1,100. <laughs> so I had to make it back. So I made back the money. I made back the $1,100 I lost, and then I ended up being up 300 today. So I was green 300. I think it was like 350 and I logged immediately out. I was like, that's it. So I did all that um, before, I think even before the big fall, it fell really hard today. I was like, I could have freaking cleaned up, but I was just like, whatever, I'm calling it. Like once I got green, I was just like, whatever. I ain't tripping. But I just have to say, I'm like so proud of myself because I feel like I can see the chart so good now. The biggest thing for me is just fear and sometimes it moves so fast that I'd be second guessing myself. But when I stay on the high time frame, it's so much easier to read. So long story short, I am so excited. I just feel like things are finally coming together and I've learned so much and it just, I don't know, it's like that aha moment where you're like, I've got it, I've got everything. And you know how people talk about the rabbit hole? I've gone so far down the rabbit hole and I've learned every single thing I can. Um, I learned from ICT, so ICT is Inner Circle Trader on YouTube, and Michael basically teaches you how to read the algorithm and how to read, he calls them PD arrays, or basic, basically they're premium and discount arrays, and those are like signatures that the algorithm makes when it's moving and printing on the chart. So long story short, he teaches you all the PD arrays that he knows, I think there's like 81 or 82, and I've learned them all, and I'm very proud of myself because I feel like I really took the time to master this. I put the time in to study and it just, I don't know, hard work pays off. So I'm just excited because I know if I can make a thousand dollars in a day or if I can make, you know, $1,300 in a day, like basically today I made $1,400. I'm like, $1,400 is a lot of money. You do a thousand dollars a day, that's really good because $400 a day is six figures. So I'm just excited. I feel like I'm finally there, I finally made it, and it's so exciting to see my friends who I've been trading with, my girl Christy. She has been just, it's like the rubber is meeting the road for all of us, my boy Paul. It's so exciting, like I just feel so, so, so excited. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys, like it's finally coming together, don't give up on your dreams. It takes, like when something like this took a long time, I'm not gonna sit here and act like it doesn't. You gotta put the work in, but at the same time, I don't want to have to work for nobody else. I want to be able to do this, log off, and be done for the day. So that's the goal. And I'm just very, very excited. And, you know, I can't wait to see what the future has for me. <laughs> I was looking basically for a pillow that I could use and sit in my bed so I can read in my bed. And then I ordered a foot heater. <laughs> for my desk, so I've got that. And a couple of other things. So let's see what I have first. I don't know what this is. We will see, we will see. I got my um, my bonus this year and it was really big. It was honestly my biggest bonus I've ever gotten in my career. And 
I'm still sitting on most of it. <laughs> I got the car and then I only bought that purse. So I only bought this for myself and this stuff. So I think that's it. All I'm gonna be doing, which is okay. But there were just a couple of things. Only other thing I think I want is a chair, a new chair, because I have this chair. But it um it looked dirty. It's one of those chairs from IKEA. And they just it's not easy to clean. And we have that carpet cleaner and everything. And it does not get clean the way that I like it to. Okay, so basically your feet go inside of here. And you use this to make your feet be like elevated. So I wanted this so my feet can be elevated. But the cool thing about it is it actually heats up. So I love to be warm. So I got this to put under my desk. And I just gotta find where you plug it in. Cause we gonna try it. Yeah, I'm excited about this. So this is going under my desk. It's kind of interesting though that they have this like, this part for your feet. <laughs> and then this is for Jace. So Jace needed a car seat. So I bought him a car seat. So now he won't be riding dirty. I had this like seat belt thing where you put it, you like attach it to the car and then that way when you get in the car with them, they just are like attached to the car where if God forbid anything happen, at least you know they won't fly out. But I was worried that it would like jerk his neck. Um, so that's why I got this. And it wasn't cheap either, but it's important. Okay, there's a couple of pieces. Then something else, um, my friend Samuel recommended this book. It's called U Squared. It says a high velocity formula for multiply, multiplying your personal effectiveness in quantum leaps. So that is what this is about. He said it's really short, so it's very easy to read and there's not a lot of pages. So I may try to knock this out this evening, but basically he's like, you gotta get this book. It's so good, so. We're gonna see, I'll let you guys know. And the last piece, which I'm the most excited about, <laughs> and it came in this bag right here. Probably don't need the outside because I doubt I'll ever be able to put it back. <laughs> I was gonna say like, I am I actually thought it was gonna be one of those big boxes. The way they have this sealed, for sure, does not give away how big it is. And tonight I gotta give Jace a bath. So it's gonna be a long night, long story short. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to let this thing um, get bigger for like a couple of days. So I may not be able to use it tonight, but that's okay. Arius, look what I got. You gone? Okay, can y'all see it? <laughs> So it's a pillow. It's a pillow for my bed. Ooh, it's really soft too. So this is so I can sit in the bed and read. Cause the regular pillows were not giving me the support that I need. So yeah, y'all like the hair? We're back in the curls. I think that's it. I will, um, I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow. I gotta give Jace a bath and get ready for bed. I'm so exhausted. I got food all over my blazer from cooking with this jacket on and I really shouldn't have. It's just been a very long day. So I'm gonna turn in and we will, we'll talk tomorrow. Very effective and now we have a full understanding. Not saying we're gonna be power users, but like, all right, I see what it does, see how it's working. I'm just Just text, I know it's a toss up, but I hate the fact that we lost touch Hey, the Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you